This Justin Bieber song inspired Polyphia, says Tim Henson, probably. According to guitarist Tim Henson, Polyphia found some inspiration in a Justin Bieber song, particularly for their EP, The Most Hated. And no, it's not the title that was inspired by Bieber, although some of the guitar-loving population out there would probably think that. Instead, it was the simplicity of Justin's 2015 song, Love Yourself, where it's basically just him and the guitar. And, well, there's a part featuring trumpets but it's, overall, an incredibly simple and effective tune. That's what Henson explained during his recent chat with Trivium frontman Matt Heafy, explaining how modern prog rock champions changed their approach on the 2017 EP. Probably our biggest jump shift in sound. This was probably our biggest jump shift in sound where, on the guitar side, what I wanted to achieve was being able to carry the song with one guitar, the guitarist said. So, essentially, chord melody, right? Just like a polyphia take on what chord melody is where you've got your root nodes and your top line playing at the same time, so that was the main thing. From then, you can pretty much take a single guitar apart from one of our songs and just have it stand by itself, and it's still the song. Justin Bieber's song that inspired Polyphia. Explaining that they started preferring simplicity, Henson then added, I remember Justin Bieber's song, the one that's like, my mama don't like you, and she likes everyone, that one. It's so simple. It's just him and the guitar, yet it's such a great song. This further inspired them to change their approach to new material. Instead of just doing, billions of layers, Tim explains that they made music that could stand on its own and then added layers on top of that. It's just in its most simplistic form, and I was like, dude, we got all these billions of layers and shit. What if we made it stand on its own? And so we did that, and then added billions of layers after that. Working with hip-hop producers. Another massive change for them on that release was their collaboration with different kinds of producers, namely the ones known for their work in hip-hop. And the cool thing about that EP was that it was the first time that we started working with producers outside of our genre. So we teamed up with Y2K and Judge, and their hip-hop producers, so their way of doing things is so different than ours. Thus, we present this content. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. If this video is interesting for viewers, we thank you for your support.